This is my car and I'm having a problem with my radiator. There, if you look very carefully, you can see here a crack. It's very difficult to see, but it's small enough. But even it's very small crack, coolant is leaking from the radiator. And I would like to really seal that area. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to scratch this area. You can see with this metal scratcher. Okay, so just sketching, scratching. What I want to do, I want to actually use an epoxy to seal this area. This is a metal. A metal radiator. I believe with epoxy I will manage to seal it because epoxy can work uh, until 300 Fahrenheit. This is another angle that you can see what's going on and by the way this crack was happened because of an accident. So you can see here is the accident happened. You can see it's bent. This one actually hit this radiator part and it created a crack here. And here is the crack. So maybe a one uh, one by uh, one sixteen of an inch or one millimeter crack, but it's enough. So the second thing after I can scratch it, I just clean the area here. And by the way, I make sure that this is a car doesn't dry for one day because everything is dry. It's very important that everything going to be dry. So I'm going to use this tape. Uh, the reason is that I just want to put uh, epoxy on the area here. And I want to actually maintain uh, this place clean. So I'm going to put a tape here where I don't want the glue or the epoxy to reach. I just want the epoxy on the crack area. As you can see, this is the area where is the crack here, and only in this area I'm going to put my epoxy. I'm going to use JB Weld. It's two-part epoxy that is recommended to use in automotive uh, for metal, and plastic, stone, everything. The most important is very reliable in a high temperature. It will sustain. So let me show you how I'm doing it. So I'm going to use these two. JB Weld two-part epoxy to mix them together. What I need to do here, I need to actually mix, just uh, put semi-equal amount from each container. It looks quite the same. Now we'll have to, fix, to mix it properly, two of them, until it's going to get a grayish consistency, but you have to mix it quite well. Using this uh, plastic spoon to do it. So now I think I have enough to start spread the epoxy on the crack. I will use the same spoon just to take this epoxy and just to put it force it to the area where is the crack. Remember you wanted to force it to the area and the epoxy will go to this one millimeter or one sixteen of an inch crack inside. Apply the glue to the epoxy and you must let this epoxy stay for 24 hours at least because it will cure properly to stand this temperature. If there was no problem of temperature here you can wait for like 6 hours but for this one you have to wait 24 hours. Now what left is just to remove the tape.
and we let it stay like that for 24 hours. So I'm here after 24 hours and I want to show the result. And as you can see, here is the crack. And this is the epoxy. Now in order to success, when you actually try to seal a crack or a leaking radiator, you first need to scratch the area. Second thing you need to do, you need to mix the JD weld or other epoxy uh, thoroughly to mix it proper. Apply to the area where are the crack or where is the crack and let it stay for at least 24 hours because of the temperature that the radiator is, is working on. Uh, it takes 24 hours to the epoxy to cure properly and to sustain a temperature until 500 Fahrenheit. So this will stay forever. It will never leak again from this area.